Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to show you how to force a blood moon in case you need to spawn octo rocks or any other creature to farm those materials or get your weapon durability back up to maximum. So without further ado let's get right into the video. The first thing you're going to need to do is go to the skull lake. Then you're going to need to drill down to the depths and maybe go to this light route. If you have this light route, it'll make things a lot easier for you. All right, once you're here, the only prerequisite for this glitch is that you have a three shot or five shot bow. As long as you have a three shot or five shot bow and some kind of uh, item that will cause some kind of explosive or s like radius damage, an opal, a sapphire, a red choo choo, really anything will work. Next thing you want to do is climb this spire and then immediately initiate bullet time. Next, attach some opals or whatever material you're going to use and fire them at this rock face. Once you've fired four arrows into the rock face, you'll notice how laggy your game is getting and you can just let go of your controller. At this point, the game is going to glitch. Something weird is going to happen with the time, and it's going to fast forward right to a blood moon. When now all those creatures that you needed to spawn are going to be spawned. All those Octoroks you were going to need for durability increases are going to be respawned. Anything that you needed from a blood moon can now be pretty much gotten whenever you need. Now, in case you thought that maybe I just timed that or that that was just a coincidence, we can go ahead and force another blood moon right away if you guys want. We'll climb the spire. Immediately jump off and trigger bullet time. Fire four opals at this rock face. The game's gonna lag. It's gonna fast forward to another blood moon. When the glow of the blood stain. And then all you have to do is skip it. And again, those octo rocks will be spawned, allowing you to up the durability of your weapons or get the exact modification that you want for your weapons. Okay, guys, if this video helped you out, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more future Zelda Tears of the Kingdom content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.